You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You be like heaven to touch God, will you hold me so much At long last, love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive Cause you're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Hey everybody, so popping in quick. Thank you for coming back to Level Up Love and Fight Villain Face Effects with me. <laughs> have you guys ever sat and thought about it? I personally have been thinking about the fact that although I have repented and am so thankful that I am no longer in the world and that I am changing the, my ways and that I have been like the prodigal son that you know I'm back I'm back okay let me give you a little backstory on the prodigal son so basically in the bible there is a story about the prodigal son and that can be found in the book of Luke uh, chapter 15 a son who had an inheritance that was supposed to be for him later down the line and he's like hey look daddy i want my inheritance now I, you know give me my money it's my money and i need it now daddy's like all right here gave him his money and once he got his money he went out and lived a fast hard crazy life wound up losing all his everything he had spent up all his inheritance on um, partying and getting turned up that kind of hurted me though and wind it up a homeless living in the pigs and eventually after you know trying to make it on his own and trying to be ashamed and shameful to even try to go back and get help from his loved ones he eventually tucked his tail and his pride and he went back home and when he went back home he had the idea of hey look i know that i messed up y'all don't have to take me back as y'all family can i just be a servant like can i just be here like i need a way to live i messed up i made a bad decision and when he came back home his father was there with open arms welcomed and glad that he was there he didn't care about any of that he was just happy to have him back home safely and soundly it's a very good story please when you get a chance go and read it luke 15 but I just, I have the same story. I call myself the prodigal son. Like I had, have had my share of being out in the world. And although um, there are plenty of people who have way more uh, crazy stories than me, for sure, I still consider mine, mine to be, you know, I, I was out here. I was doing things, the fornicating. I was partying like crazy, not at all honoring my, my parents. I was just kind of just living going with the flow whatever i felt like doing is what i did and i still had a foundation of god don't get me wrong but i really was living like the prodigal son with my mouth i was confessing and loving the lord and even in my heart to a certain extent but my actions and my fruit that i was bearing was not indicative of a child of god and I think about so many church kids, you know, I hear a lot of times people who have been growing up in the church and who have never actually had the prodigal son moment. They kind of, I don't want to say they romanticize it because I do think they have an idea that it's not good, but they always have that what if. And as much as I regret falling away from and having spent so much time out of the presence of God, I am still so very thankful for it because I'm so thankful for it because without it, I really wouldn't know just how merciful and good his grace and his mercy is. Like to come and snatch me up out of living with the pigs and say, come, I, you, are my, you are my daughter. Like, I don't care what you did. You are good enough. Let's have a party in celebration of you coming back home to me and you stay with me and you don't have to leave my side. I am not going to make you a servant. I'm not going to treat you badly. I'm not going to act like you are not from me just because you went out into the world and did wrong. And, and that is such a profound thing because 
I don't have the what ifs. I know what's out there. I've seen the trauma. I've seen the hurt. I've seen the pain. I've seen the empty voids that we're trying to fill with stuff and things and people and intimacy and all these things we're trying to fill up in this Jesus size hole that we have in our hearts. And me already having experienced that just makes my faith that much stronger. Though it is very good that people have not strayed away from the Lord. And I'm, I know that that has its amazing benefits as well because you know having uninterrupted time in the lord is always going to be beneficial especially if it's a genuine relationship and not you just going through the, the emotions and that has a lot more spiritual maturity you know that you can get from from that experience but i i, I don't have the what ifs and that is one thing that i'm so thankful for and i'm thankful for god keeping me in my wilderness in my crazy time, in my wild rebellious moments, because I'm still here now to be able to really look back and appreciate. And without those trials, tribulations, and the, the trauma that I got out in the world when I was looking for whatever I was trying to feel the void of, I wouldn't truly have the fire and the passion that I have for the most high. Like, I don't have regrets. I don't have anything that I wish I still do. I don't have any of that because of the fact that I did it. Been there, done that, bought that t-shirt. And so I want to encourage any of my sisters and brothers in Christ who are PK kids who didn't stray away. Because you know us PK kids. I'm not a PK kid. Technically, kind of, sort of. My dad did um, go to school for it. But that was later on in my life. I didn't grow up as a PK. But you know, a lot of times PK kids are one of the most wild, wild, rebellious kids ever. What do you mean by that? But for the ones who didn't have that experience and who have just known the church and just known God and have never, ever really delved out into anything else, I want you to be encouraged that you are not missing out on anything. Please don't ever let anybody tell you that you need that. Please don't ever let anybody tell you try to, to get in your brain to trick you into you need a whole phase and let worldly people give you advice about you need a party phase and you're only young once and all that stuff. I understand that it's easy for me to say that because I have had it and I have had the experience of, of the worldly experience. So it's easy for me to tell you to stay away from it but it's also from experience that I'm telling you to stay away from it it is nothing good there nothing but pain trauma you can look around you can look at our society and see what is what fruit is coming from that worldly lifestyle so if you are at the feet of Jesus and that you are in full relationship with God I pray that you maintain that and do not let anybody come and step in between that do not let anybody come Come and convince you that that is not the way to go. Don't let anybody convince you that a life served for Jesus is a life wasted. You are not wasting your life. You are not missing anything by not getting more bodies. You are not wasting anything by not taking on more soul ties. You are not wasting anything by not doing bodily harm to your organs by taking drinking and taking drugs abusively you are not missing out on anything stay and hold fast to god hold fast to your godly relationships and godly friendships embrace your discernment and do not give in to peer pressure there is nothing out there but pig styes and you will come running home with your tail tucked between your your legs <laughs> trust me okay <laughs> As a person who did it, trust me, this world will beat you to smithereens. It is not a safe place. The only place where safety is is where the Father is. So stay close to Him. Stay connected to the vine. I hope you guys have a good one. I pray that this really, really bless someone because, y'all, it's nothing out there. It is nothing, 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 nothing out there in these streets. You are not missing out on anything. Don't let people make you think it looks fun because they're making it cute with some cute music in the background or cute edit or a good videographer. There is nothing fun out there. And I'm not going to say that like, listen, let me let me make sure I'm clear here before I leave. I'm not saying that it's not 
fun when your brain is not developed or that it's not fun when you don't fully understand the, the ramifications but once you understand the ramifications it is no longer fun your eyes are open and you can never unsee those things you can never unknow those things and everything changes so if you are holy spirit filled which i pray that you are you will be able to withstand the temptations and tribulations of this world you guys have a good one. I will see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.